exciting day because I'm going to be sharing with you guys some really awesome things in this video and you guys are going to learn about those things in a moment. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I prep my natural hair, my natural 4B4C hair to be specific, under my wigs in order to achieve fast, long hair growth. My goal is to have waist length and I have been on a health journey. I started about two weeks ago and I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I've been doing in this video in order to enhance my hair growth. So that's going to be really exciting and I thought the best way to do that would be to show you guys by installing my newly released signature unit and it's called Glory Crown. <laughs> Isn't that such a cool name? So the wig that I'm currently wearing is my new signature unit. I know you guys are probably like, wow. Looking at myself, I still can't believe that I'm wearing a wig. Like, yes guys, this is a wig. And I decided to name it Glory Crown because a woman's hair is her crown and glory. And many of us have been struggling with hair growth. If your journey has been anything like mine, your hair has probably gotten to a point where it's seemingly plateaued, but I'm gonna be hooking you guys up, showing you all some new things that I'm trying. But in the meantime, while you're waiting for your hair to grow, you can still protect your style by wearing wigs. And it's better to wear a wig that matches your hair texture because then you're not having to overly manipulate, you're not having to use additional tension or anything on your hair and it looks so natural you can get the same bond look that is probably your goal length or volume for the future I know this is mine I cannot wait until my hair is here and I believe that it will be if I'm consistent in giving my hair the necessary TLC so this video is going to be jam-packed with so much goodness I hope that you guys are excited if you are be sure to give it a like now and be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be taking you guys on this natural hair journey and I'm so excited but let's get right into the video guys all right guys so this is what my hair looks like i just have it in two ponytails and i just braided it up after applying some oil i didn't apply everything that i generally add but i'm going to show you guys that now to start i just recently started including aloe vera plant into my regimen and i love it it helps to increase blood circulation it helps to strengthen and repair hair strands it helps to calm an itchy scalp helps to retain moisture also reduce hair fall and i just created a diy leave-in spray with the aloe vera plant Another thing that's been a game changer for me is fenugreek seeds. These help to prevent hair loss. They help to reduce dandruff. They're loaded with nutrients such as protein, iron, and zinc. They help to prevent premature graying, and they make the hair really shiny and silky. Next up is neem. Now there are numerous forms that you can get this in. I have it in a butter as well as an oil. This butter I found on Amazon and this helps with dry hair. So it helps to condition the hair, helps to treat lice, helps to hydrate the hair, stimulate blood circulation and prevent baldness. In addition to that power combo, I also have to incorporate oils. I've mixed numerous oils in my applicator bottle. I've listed a few on the screen and don't worry, I am gonna demonstrate how I apply these things, but I do wanna get into the wig. Now the unit that I share with you guys once again is my glory crown signature unit This is what it looks like. It is a u-part construction and I love a u-part because it kind of simulates the look of a sew-in But this approach creates so much less tension and you can take it off at night Which allows you to really be able to get to your scalp and your hair so that you can moisturize it properly Which is going to promote what? hair growth <laughs> so this is what the unit looks like it is in the coily texture and that is my favorite texture however unlike the something about Mary unit this one will be offered in the curly texture as well it's also going to be offered in two different lengths so it'll be offered in length 16 as well as length 18 so I'm showing you those lengths now these are the two units in two different lengths and it's only a two inch difference so you can't really tell a significant difference but I am going to show you guys what it looks like on me with both lengths as well all defined and everything also if you want to preserve the hair overnight if you're somebody who doesn't necessarily want to remove your wigs every single night like I do then you should get the protective headband that's gonna cover your hair it's satin line so it's gonna be very good for retaining moisture and helps to keep the longevity of your unit intact this is what the inside construction of the unit looks like it has two combs along the parting area also combs on the side and at the bottom it also comes with an elastic band if you desire to use that so I'm gonna put it on to show you guys what it looks like before cutting the parting area the texture right out of the package looks so great and I love how soft this hair is especially once you actually wash and condition it y'all it just gets better but the starting point already looks good so if you wanted to just take out your leave out and wear it as is you could but I'm going to show you guys how I prep my natural hair right now 
So I'm just taking down the braids now and I was so tempted to go ahead and moisturize my hair and everything off camera because I always do that after I wash my hair. But because I didn't, my hair looks a little interesting. But nevertheless, Sharon is caring, right? So I'm going to show you guys the process. I'm starting by spraying the fenugreek spray all over my hair, being sure to spray my scalp as well. I'm just pretty much saturating my hair in this stuff because I want my hair to grow. And this is a DIY leave-in spray that I created. And guys, it's really easy to make. I can show you guys in another video how I did so and I'm just parting my hair off now. I did decide to go with the side part, but you can also wear the unit in a middle part. After deciding where you want your part, you want to take out hair on the opposite side of the part so that you have enough leave out. When installing a U-part, some individuals only focus on the leave out around the parting area, but I also want my edges to be out in case the wind blows. So I took those out as well. And I'm just going to do like a little bantu knot just to keep this hair out of the way while I begin to prep the hair in the back and cover that up because we're protective styling. So now I'm gonna go section by section, twisting my hair up, applying the aloe vera plant spray that I created. That's another DIY. I'm gonna do a video on that as well. And then I'm gonna apply the butter. And this is really gonna help to moisturize and hydrate my hair. Once again, I did find this on Amazon and I'll try to remember to link it in the description box. After applying that, I'm just gonna go in with the oils that I showed you guys previously. I'm gonna apply those to my scalp as well as the hair in order to seal in the moisture. And then I'm gonna twist my hair up. After completing this process, I'll come back on and show you guys the next steps. Now that we've taken out our leave out and we've moisturized the hair in the back, I can begin tucking that away. So I'm just going to use bobby pins and I'm going to bring the hair over to either side and just pin it so that it's out of the way and it's fully protected. All right, so now it's time to begin prepping the leave out. Right now my hair is not defined at all, so I have to make sure it's nice and defined so that it'll blend really nicely with the wig. So I'm gonna begin by applying my staple product, which is by Dark and Lovely, and this is their Curl Defining Glaze. I love this stuff. Do not use the gels that I'm gonna show you guys in a moment without applying this product because you will get flaking and your hair will be very dry and stiff, and nobody wants that. So be sure to apply this product. It's gonna help to soften the hair and create a really nice shine. And I like to apply a stocking cap over my hair in the back just to ensure that that's protected and it's also going to be used again later on and I'll explain that in a moment. So now we're going to begin layering the gel. I start with Eco Styler gel and this is the olive oil kind. I'm just going to spread that all over my hair and this is one side. After I've done this side, I'm going to do the same exact thing to the other side and I like to go in with a fine tooth comb just to make sure everything's nice and sleek. After I've done this, I'm going to go in with the Got To Be Glue in the yellow bottle and I know you're probably thinking this is a lot, but guys, this is just what my hair requires. <laughs> If I don't do this, my hair will revert so quickly after doing this wash and go on my leave out. If you have type 4 hair, this is going to be very good for you. Try it. And if it doesn't work, then continue working on figuring out what's going to work best for your hair. But this just is what I do and it works. <laughs> Now 
Now this is where the stocking cap comes in. If my hair were not wet in the back, I'd only use one stocking cap, but to avoid the front remaining wet and touching the hair in the back, I just use another stocking cap just to keep that as dry as possible. And I'm just gonna stretch the hair in the front, wrapping it around the nape of my hair. And this is gonna help to keep the hair stretched and elongated. After doing this side, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. feel free to clean up any excess gel and then apply a satin scarf. The satin scarf is going to help to make sure everything's nice and sleek and laid and it's going to set everything until the morning. Now it's time to wash and condition the hair. I'll be using the Total Miracle 7-in-1 conditioner. I love this stuff. This is actually the conditioner that I also use on my natural hair. So I just applied a generous amount to the hair. And right now I'm gonna proceed to detangle the hair and also define the curls using my Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. After doing this, I'm gonna rinse out the product and show you guys what that looks like and then apply my stylers. pair of jeans, a shirt or two. We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back. Now that we've detangled the unit, this is the amount of shedding, which is very normal. And this is what the hair looks like after conditioning. It looks so beautiful. This is glorious, right y'all? Now you can leave it like this, but I wanna define the curls and make sure the curls are nice and plump. So I'm gonna apply the coconut curling cream and this is by Cantu. I'm also gonna layer it with the curl defining glaze, which is my favorite product once again. So I'm gonna go in section by section applying both products and using the detangling brush in order to define and clump the curls and make them look super juicy. Doesn't matter if it's true I've got a feeling love will give us what we like The world is waiting up The world is waiting half a step beyond our door yeah. And if it's not enough I want to see the stuff the world has got in store oh. I wanna take it all in, I'm falling The cityscape by night, wanna catch in my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright There'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights A year away, like the seconds, the beginning and the end. Uh -huh. But if in time it's yesterday, your picture's gonna bring it home to me again. I allow the unit to air dry overnight, and these are the finished results. There's a great deal of hold, a great deal of shine, and also definition. Of course, you could spray some leave-in spray on the hair in order to loosen up the hold, but it's really not necessary, especially once you go outside. I feel like it just begins to just swell and look even more beautiful. But now we're gonna cut the U in the middle and begin installing, guys. It's a simple and easy process from here. It's just pretty much removing the stocking cap, and this is what my natural hair looks like. Look how good these edges look. This baby hair and everything is laid. It looks so good. If you guys haven't tried that method that I showed you guys, try it and let me know how it works out for you. So I'm gonna remove this stocking cap. After doing this, we're gonna take our leave out out and just position the unit over and begin blending. The world is waiting up. The world is waiting half a step beyond our door. Oh. If it's not enough, I wanna 
wanna see the stuff the world has got in store. The unit that I'm gonna show you guys first is in length 18, and this is the length that I have really, really like a great deal. Both of them look awesome, but the 18, I like the longer length. So now I'm gonna begin by adjusting the straps in the back. This unit is definitely big hair friendly, so I'd highly recommend going down a size from the size that you would typically get. That's what I did. And now I'm just gonna position the unit where the parting is, but before we do that, Put on a black stocking cap instead of the other color. The new color might show through and you don't want that. The cap will also help to protect your natural hair in the back from the comb. So now to install the unit, you're just gonna pull the unit over your hair and make sure that you leave your leave out where it needs to be and then position the combs on the opposite side of where the leave out is. You're gonna do it near the parting as well as on the sides and in the back and then take your leave out and begin blending that over where the unit starts. Now, as you can see, my hair blends so well with this unit. The quality texture is actually 3C4A and I'm 4B4C texture, but because of the method that I showed you guys, my hair blends really well with this hair texture. And this is a natural color, so um, if you desire to have it darker, then go for color 1B. I typically go for color 1B, but I didn't get that this time. I don't know what I was thinking, but it still worked, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna pull the hair behind my ear, begin fluffing, and then I'm also gonna grab my pick in order to add volume, but you definitely don't have to do that. And one thing that I also recommend is not to overly manipulate your leave out, because you wanna make sure that the hair is nice and plump and that it's fine and the more that you manipulate your hair you could potentially get flaking and you don't want that so don't keep playing in your hair just leave it as is separate a little and keep it like that I want to take it all in I'm falling the cityscape by night want to catch my photos where you go every corner twice as bright there'll be my treasures forever when I can't hold you tight I'll see the Stockholm lights the Stockholm all right y'all these are the finished results for length 18 i'm going to show you guys length 16 in a moment you will see that there isn't a significant difference but guys this unit is so beautiful i was actually wearing a u-part wig in the twin video on my channel and many of you guys were raving about my hair as well as my twin sister's hair i cut and designed the unit and now it's available on the her giving hair website i'm so excited it just went live today and we're currently having a discount for the first two days so you can get $40 off so you want to jump on that guys and be sure to support by liking this video and also leaving a comment I really appreciate you guys a great deal I hope you guys love this unit as much as I do be sure to also check the description box for the link and specifications I'll have everything detailed down in the description box also with the products that I share with you guys in this video as well I hope that you found this entire video how detailed it was step by step I hope you found that helpful I look forward to your comments and feedback I'm gonna show you guys lent 16 in a moment but i love you guys happy good friday happy easter you guys stay blessed also stay inside and stay healthy and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys So many tears You've been there for me I've been there for you Look in the mirror And think this through Something as perfect and pretty As you I never could leave You gotta believe But you think my heart's not there